Heather Scott. She is doing what the good people of Idaho sent her there to do, God damn it. She doing what they sent her there to do. An Idaho lawmaker introduced the cannibalism bill Thursday, so this happened a few days ago. She said would keep human flesh and bone out of the food supply. Uh, honestly, that just made it even worse. Reading that part of the sentence just made this whole thing worse because I'm sitting here thinking, right? I'm I'm sitting here thinking that she's just introducing a bill to make cannibalism outlawed, which I would think is not something that's legal at the moment. But hey, you know, whatever. But when you make it a bill so that human flesh and bones doesn't end up in food products, that just made it way worse. Now you're on some QAnon level type of shit because now, now we're not talking about individuals who may be deranged and want to eat their fellow man. We're talking about some type of giant conspiracy that has to involve the slaying of many people routinely, systematically, so that we can eat them. Because I guess we're running out of chickens and, and cows and pigs and shit like that. I guess we running out. I don't know. But that just made this way worse. That just made this way worse. So let's continue. Okay, where uh, where were we? Okay, so it was a reality show prank. Rep. Heather Scott, a Republican, introduced a bill that would expand the state's existing criminal... Okay, say, see, there's already a cannibalism law, which is what I would have figured, you know, because cannibalism mostly implies you have to take someone's life to do it. I mean, unless you find someone dead on the side of the road, but you know, this is just, it's kind of gross, but you, 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 let's move on. Okay, so the state's existing criminal cannibalism law to prohibit any person from willfully providing the flesh or blood of a human being to another person to ingest with the, oh, without their knowledge. So you, they gotta know that they're eating you first. You know, so it's, it's so it's not a full out ban because, you know, hands off my guns. You feel me? Don't tread on me. So they still trying to be conservative. They still trying to be Republican, you know, by not fully outlawing the cannibalism. I just got to let you know what you're about to consume. Right. You know. Yes, amputees. There we go. Amputees. You know, for people who just, you know, might go to the hospital and ask ask the uh, surgeons like, hey, uh, whatever you amputate, you let me you let me keep it. <laughs> Don't throw it out. Don't throw it in the dumpster at the end of the day. Just keep. <laughs> Yo, but this is so stupid because it says without their consent. I didn't consent to eating another person. Idaho's cannibalism law already outlaws the willful ingestion of the flesh or blood of a human being, you know? Okay, so the law states that, what she proposes, that the expanded law has no fiscal impact because it causes no additional expenditure of funds at the state or local level of government, nor does it cause an increase or decrease in revenue for state or local government. In other words, it's a law that can't really be enforced. On the legislative floor, Scott said, she had two reasons for introducing the bill to prevent human co composting and to ensure that duping people into eating human material is not normalized. You know, because that's something. OK, hold on. We got video. We got video of this because, you know, like th this, th 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 we were on the verge of this becoming normalized. Until she stepped up. She said, quote, I know this seems like a heavy topic, Scott said as she explained her proposal. It might seem kind of gruesome. It kind of is. Not silly, not ridiculous, not that. It, it just, it's just gruesome. First, Scott discussed the dangers of human composting. In 2019, I heard that Washington State was starting to do human composting, and that disturbed me. So I wanted to address this because what I didn't want to see is bags of compost with human bone fragments. Again, the, I mean, how many people would have to be slaughtered for this to be some type of widespread operation? Uh -huh. 
Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like you, it's the addiction. That's really the biggest problem, you know. And and that's really above anything else. That's really what needs to be uh, addressed in this proposal. Yeah, is is how goddamn addictive it is. You know what I'm saying? And so she's really going above and beyond to protect people's health. She's doing more than we realize. We started off laughing at her, but now, no, uh, we see that she's onto something. I didn't want to see that in my Home Depot stores. Okay, I'm sorry, but this woman is incredibly unintelligent. Like, she's legitimately just not smart. And I know that, I mean, who cares? She's, uh, fuck it, it's mean. It's not nice. So what? You know, if, if, if you don't have, if you're not mentally impaired, then it's not that mean to call people dumb. This is dumb. This is really stupid. But let's see what she has to say. Let's, let's, let's listen to some of her words, but no, this, this woman is, uh, very, uh, dense in the mind. The committee will now have consideration RS31078, Representative Scott. In one of the most anticipated moments of the morning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Republican Representative Heather. Tell WYCD to go on, man, send me a link to his channel. Let me go ahead and follow him. See what's up. Scott, step to the podium in the House State Affairs Committee. RS31078, <laughs> cannibalism. And I know this seems like a, it's a heavy topic, actually. It might seem kind of gruesome, and it kind of is. Cannibalism is already a crime in Idaho under a chapter titled Mayhem. Any person who willfully ingests the flesh or blood of a human being is guilty of cannibalism. It was passed in 1990 after a rash of unfounded satanic panic investigations <laughs> in Idaho during the 80s. Representative Scott wants to add a line to that law. Anyone who willfully provides yes, that's exactly flesh what it means. to another person to ingest without that person's knowledge or consent is also guilty of <laughs> without their knowledge or consent. <laughs> this reminds okay. me of uh, the South Park episode. Eric Cartman I don't remember who it was. Eric Cartman, uh, like ended the lives of this kid's parents and served him his parents in a bowl of chili. This is very South Park esque. I don't remember what that episode is, but let me know if y'all know that episode. Yo, look at how my dude is staring at her. You see this dude back here? This is this is great. This is great right here. Look at how he's staring. He's looking at her like yo. <laughs> my man's got the beard he got the eyebrow raised they like uh and he's looking at her he got his mouth open he like are you kidding me okay so why is this a worry for an idaho lawmaker well representative scott brought up two reasons so a few years ago back in 2019 i heard that washington state was starting to to do human composting and that disturbed me so I wanted to address this because what I didn't want to see is bags of compost with human bone fragments. Yes, human composting is a thing in several states, including... How would you even know? But the remains aren't being bagged. They're being spread in a forest outside Battleground, Washington, to help it recover from logging. And the other reason Representative Scott got during a flight last summer. And I watched a video uh, of... Um, some food show. All right, chef. Can you tell us the three secret ingredients that might be found in this amazing sausage that you made for us today? The three secret ingredients that might be found in the sausage are fish liver, human flesh, or shark. I... Is this... <laughs> are those really the three ingredients? Yeah. And one of the... <laughs> yes. <laughs> More likely than not. <laughs> They told these people that was in the food was human flesh. Or human flesh. God help you, it better be shark. Not okay. That's no, not all right. No, it's a wonderful renewable protein. Whoa, whoa, hey, you, all right. No, and sir, disgusting. no, um, you no. know, I didn't, I didn't know it was going to no, go like this no, either. No, that's this really disgusting. Chef, Chef, are you serious? Yeah, of course. I thought this is going to be normalized at some point. The way our society's going and the direction we're going um, this is going to be normalized. So Representative Scott based her bill on a video posted to TikTok a month ago. Yes, I'm afraid you're both wrong. It is human flesh. No. 
about something that wasn't actually real. We're going to stop shooting this right now. We're going to do another show called Fameless. It's Davis Bates' new prank show. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. Oh my God. I guess this is what happens when you do your own research. There's a lot of documentation out there. If you just um, Google it, there's a ton of people showing it. And There's really not a lot going on up there. There's really not. I mean, oh, man. There, 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 there is Atari ping pong going on in her brain. It's just bloop, 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 bloop. Like, what? Like, are you kidding me? how they're doing Look, it. Listen, if y'all have dreams, follow them. Because if this woman can be in an elected position, then you can do whatever you put your mind to. It might take some time. It might it, it might cause you a lot of growing pains. It might be difficult. But look, listen, if she can do it, so can you. It Must have been a short flight since Representative Scott didn't seem to watch the end of that video. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. Swimming you green is people. If you had to eat a celebrity. <laughs> Oh, man. The, oh, God. The, I mean, that was just mm, not a lot going on upstairs with her.